then. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT North American Championship. Welcome everyone to NXT Battleground. And tonight we are kicking things off with the North American Championship match. And the challenger Carmelo Hayes approached the champion this past week on NXT and asked for this match up here tonight. And this is gonna be a true test for the champion Nathan Frazier as he takes on one of the very best superstars NXT has produced in Carmelo Hayes. A former NXT champion we are about to see how Nathan Frazier stacks up against one of the very best NXT has to offer. What a way to begin Battleground. Here comes the champion. There is Nathan Frazier. A man that has been North American champion for 84 days after besting J.D. McDonough at Heatway this past year. He has had three championship defenses. And he's about to enter his fourth. And this is quite possibly Nathan Frazier's toughest challenger to date. A former NXT champion. One of the very best in NXT, Carmelo Hayes. This is going to be awesome. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, he is the NXT North American Champion, Nathan Frazier. North American Championship on the line. This is our first matchup here at Battleground. And for Nathan Frazier, this is about proving himself to one of the very best that NXT has to offer. He wants to see how he matches up with a guy like Melo. What a way to kick off Battleground. And we are about to be on the way. Frazier, Hayes, here we go. The bell sounds and we are underway. And Hayes not going to waste any time. Oh, went for that big boot to the face. Nathan Frazier showcasing his speed and quickness. Both of these superstars incredibly quick, incredibly agile. And you see it here from Carmelo. As he lands on his feet off the drop kick, went for another. Frazier able to counter. And here come the quick strikes. Into a reverse DDT from Nathan Frazier, and he went for that standing shooting star. What a hot start to this contest. As now Hayes trying to slow this matchup down. Kick to the spine, and Hayes just soaking it in. 
Went for the kick. Frazier with one of his own to the bread basket of Carmelo Hayes. And looking for that striking combination was Frazier. Hayes, one step ahead. Head first off the knee. And now the ground and pound from Melo. And there is a great amount of respect between these two superstars. When it comes down to it, this is business. At the end of the day, this is all about the North American Championship standing shooting star. Cover on Hayes and a kick out. And Carmelo Hayes sliding himself underneath the bottom rope. And he now winds up on the apron. Big shot. And Hayes is going to fly. Springboard clothesline. Into the cover once again. North American title on the line. Another one count. Oh, and there's a mat slam. Planning down the champion. And there's another kick to the back. Hayes keeping up the pressure. And now Nathan Frazier picked back up to a vertical base. Counters the drop kick. And now the champion with some more strikes to Carmelo Hayes. Hayes gets sent into the corner. Hayes trying to block it. Frazier though, big kick. And that will rock the challenger. Oh, nobody home for that springboard drop kick. And Hayes now with another scoop slam, setting up Frazier for the leg drop. Hayes in control. The NXT North American Championship is on the line. And Frazier trying to turn the tables here. Big shots to the chest of Melo. Oh, went for the Inziguri. Nobody home, big kick. Hayes connected right to the face of the champion. Can he follow up now? Shot from Hayes. And a second one. Went for the trifecta. Frazier though. Springboard lands on his feet. Oh, first 48. Hayes out of nowhere. To win the North American Championship. Kick out. That was a close one. But Frazier showcasing his resilience. And now what is Melo thinking? Carmelo Hayes, oh, gets taken down, there's an elbow, right to the chest. And now Frazier looking to follow up, Sherman suplex, bridges into the cover to retain, kick out at two. Oh, and there's an elbow to the back. And the NXT Universe all fired up as we begin Battleground. Hayes with a kick to the gut. And a pump kick to the face. And Frazier wisely getting out of harm's way. But wait a second. Wait a second. Melo. Oh my goodness. Close line to the outside of the ring. And Frazier is in a bad way right now. This could be Hayes' time. Carmelo Hayes looking to become North American champion once again in his career, but he just got caught. Oh, we're now driven into the turnbuckle and set up in the center of the ring. Frazier from the top now. Swanton Bomb connects. And could that be it? Could that be enough to retain the championship? No, near fall. Hayes is still in this. And now Frazier, no Hayes. Back and forth between these two superstars. Hayes is a takedown into the drop kick. Right on the money. And now Nathan Frazier going to try and set up Carmelo Hayes. Hayes on the top turnbuckle, Frazier gets reversed. Super kick. 
Another super kick right to the face. Hayes went to follow up. Frazier out of the way. Basement drop kick to the face of Melo. And now Frazier setting up for something. Carmelo Hayes lands on his feet. And now from behind, Hayes showcasing his strength. Powerbomb for the victory, for the title, and a kick out at two. And now Hayes going to send Frazier into the turnbuckle. Nobody home there. And the opening for Frazier. Super kick of his own. And now Frazier going to risk it all. Crossbody plancher to the outside. Can he get Carmelo back into the ring? He can. And now perhaps looking to add the finishing touches. Nathan Frazier went for the Phoenix Splash. No water in the pool. And Hayes going up, going around. Face first goes Frazier to win the North American Championship. Oh my God, I thought that was it. And now Frazier to the outside. Carmelo Hayes going to go over the top rope. This matchup has been fast and furious from the outset. And now Carmelo Hayes going up to his wheelhouse. Is he looking to put this away? Carmelo Hayes, nothing but no! Oh! Frazier with a power bomb. Could that put him away to retain the North American Championship? Oh my goodness. This matchup is not over yet. And now it's Frazier going up. Carmelo Hayes, oh, catching him out. Caught him with that forearm. And now Hayes in position as he lines up the champion. Oh, catches the boot to the face. Super kick. Back and forth between champion and challenger. Nathan Frazier is matching well with one of the very best in NXT. Crossbody from the top. And now can Nathan Frazier put away Carmelo Hayes. Reversal. Super kick again. And now Hayes going back up. He could again be looking for nothing but net. And there's that power bomb for a second time. Frazier has that move scouted. And now Hayes sent back into the turnbuckle. And Frazier rolling through up to the top turnbuckle with ease. And there's the superplex. Final cut to follow. And Frazier's not quite finished yet. There's the Phoenix Splash. Center of the ring cover. And Nathan Frazier has retained. Nathan Frazier continues his rise in NXT. And there is the NXT champion, Braun Breaker, who later tonight will defend his championship in the main event of Battleground against the former champion, LA Knight. We are back here at NXT Battleground. And it's time for some women's division action. And there are the challengers tonight for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, who have stacked up several victories as of late in NXT. That is how they on this title opportunity here this evening. 
They take on Toxic Attraction, who are looking to remain on top of this brand. This past week on NXT, Toxic Attraction bested Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae, and Roxanne Perez, who later tonight will battle Mandy Rose for the NXT Women's title. Is that a precursor to what transpires here tonight? Toxic. Mandy Rose getting ready for her championship defense later tonight, so she will not be out here during this matchup, which may spell disaster for Toxic Attraction. They have been champions for 56 days. This is their second championship defense. Will they remain on top? of NXT. Women's tag team action coming your way in just a few moments as Toxic Attraction defend the NXT Women's Tag Team titles against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. And their opponents, they are the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. Toxic. Toxic Attraction are the inaugural NXT Women's Tag Team Champions here in Universe Mode. Tonight they defend against LeRae and Hartwell, who are looking to knock them off their pedestal. So Indy Hartwell will begin this matchup with Gigi Dolan. And the referee calls for the bell. Here we go. And oh, already there's the power that Hartwell possesses. Hartwell with a bit of trash talk. GG went for the big boot, gets caught and taken down. Mindy Hartwell utilizing her power and now her striking ability. She gains control here in this matchup. Tag made in comes Candice LeRae. And look at the innovative double team. From Lorraine and Hartwell. Cover here and a kick out. Lorraine and Hartwell have been a tag team for many, many years. They have a lot of chemistry. As do Toxic Attraction. Although it has to be said, there was a gap where Toxic Attraction ceased to be. Mandy Rose getting released from NXT, returned. Got the band back together again. And ever since Mandy Rose did return, Toxic Attraction have been on the top of this brand. And LeRae stringing together some offense right now. She's in control, but Dola made the tag. And in comes JC Jane. Oh, what a fall off. And Jane trying to string together her own offense. LeRae, though. Maybe thinking about a suplex here. JC lands on her feet. And now from behind, Shane with a suplex on her own. Into the cover. On the ray, and a kick out at one. And all went for that close line, catches the kick to the midsection instead. And now Jane in the wrong neck of the woods. Candace, what is she thinking? Oh, a bulldog. Out of the corner, cover, and a kick out at two. Array getting closer to capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles once again in her career. Her partner in the Hartwell. 
JC Jane getting out of the ring. Candice LeRae over the top rope. And now Jane sent back into the ring. And Jane perhaps thinking about the tag. And oh, LeRae gets kicked away. Opportunity now knocks for JC. And she's gonna take it. Tag. Back in comes Gigi Dolan and Toxic Attraction with the double team. Knee strike, super kick combination to retain and a kick out of two. And Dolan can't believe it. She thought she had the championships retained right there. But the resilience of Candace on display. And now Dolan sent into the corner. Tag made, and in comes Indy Hartwell once again. Nice double team again from Lorraine Hartwell. And here comes Indy, building momentum. A trifecta of clotheslines. What a flurry there. Indy Hartwell, of course, a former NXT Women's Champion. The only superstar in this matchup to do so. Dolan just got dropped. Here's the cover by Hartwell and a near fall. Another two count in this matchup. Hartwell right now is rolling with a forearm. Right to the skull of Gigi Dolan. Oh, draw breaker. And now Dolan trying to fight back. Looking for a tag, there it is. JC Jane once again legal. And Toxic Attraction showing off their tag team expertise. Oh, kick to the spine. And now a boot to the face. Look at the disrespect here from JC Jane. She doesn't give a damn about anyone but herself and her tag team partners. Urinagi. Indy Hartwell Plawn, and here's the cover to retain and Murray breaking things up in time. I know she's going to pay the price for it. Murray is down, and this is not good news for Indy Hartwell. Shame with a cannonball. To retain the NXT Women's Tag Team titles? No. Indy Hartwell still in this. And now Hartwell going to be sent back into the corner. Once again, isolated by Toxic Attraction. Oh, boots the face there. And now Dolan wisely going off the leg. Oh, and Hartwell fighting back. Spinebuster. And is that going to be enough to win the championship? Oh, kick out at two. JC Jane a little slow there. Couldn't break it up in time. Luckily for her, Dolan was able to kick out. Now this matchup is heading to the outside once again. And Dolan sent back into the ring. Can Indy Hartwell follow up here? Hartwell, setting up Dolan. Oh, that full Nelson reverse STO. Cover. And oh, there's JC Chain. She didn't waste a second that time to break things off. This matchup continues. Dolan and Hartwell, the legal competitors. And now GG. STO. And now she's looking to finish this off. GG Dolan lining up Indy Hartwell. There's a back elbow though. Great counter. And the tag is made back to Candice LeRae. Codebreaker with an assist from Hartwell. Titles on the line. Oh, and they almost had it won. 
GG though was able to kick out. And now she avoids the drop kick, connects with the DDT. And is Toxic Attraction closing in on a title retention? Oh, wait a second, the way big forearm. Right into the swinging neck breaker. Down goes JC. And is this Lorraine's moment? Went for that springboard moonsault. Dolan got out of the way. And now from behind, rolling up the ray. Will this be enough? No. And old Dolan went for the insecure. Drop kick by Lorraine to the chest. And another chance here for Candice the Ray do some serious damage. Oh, what the hell is this? About to be a suplex or a brain buster. Dolan, right to the back of the leg. And that was a pivotal reversal for Gigi Dolan. Oh, went for the back elbow, gets reversed by LeRae. And here comes Candice. Snap their takedown. Into a neck snap. And LeRae again, looking for that springboard moonsault. Gigi Dolan saw it coming, half and half. And did you see the hide on that? Tag was made back to JC Jane. And oh, there goes Indy Hartwell. Knocked off of the apron. And now JC realizing this is her time to strike. She needs to make this moment count. Both competitors back into the ring. And JC lining up the ray, rolling on core. And Hartwell's back up to her feet, gets knocked back off the apron right away. Here's the cover off the rolling on core. Shoulders down. Toxic attraction of retain. Toxic Attraction seem to still be on top. At least in the NXT Women's Tag Team Division. Will Mandy Rose follow suit later tonight when she defends the NXT Women's title? Welcome back everyone to NXT Battleground. More tag team action is on the way as we are now set for the NXT Tag Team Championship match. There are the challengers, Joe and Mark Coffey, Gallus. Joe Coffey won a battle royal two weeks ago on NXT to earn Gallus this title opportunity against the Creed Brothers. Are we looking? at the next NXT Tag Team Champions. Gallus looking to make an impact here this evening. And here come the champions. Julius and Brutus, they are the Creed Brothers. They have been NXT Tag Team Champions for 112 days, taking the championship from pretty deadly at NXT Great American Bash. They have had quite the run. Here in NXT, they've made it to the top of the Tag Team Division. They are looking to continue that reign here tonight at Battleground. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 478 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey. And their opponents at a combined weight of 
515 pounds. They are the NXT Tag Team Champions, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. So here we go, more tag team action here this evening at Battleground. As the Creed Brothers defend their NXT Tag Team titles against Gallus. And so Mark Coffey will start things out for Gallus while Julius Creed begins things for the Creed brothers. And here we go. Paul Nelson already applied here, but look at the power of Julius. Able to escape. Now some big right hands to Mark Coffey, bucking him into the corner. And the fists just keep on coming. Great start here for the Creed brothers. Able to change the complexion of this matchup right away. But now here comes Mark Coffey. Went for that big forearm smash. Gets blocked. And again, the right hands from Julius Creed. No, oh, but he gets taken down. Now Mark Coffey going off to the foundation of Julius Creed. Smart strategy. Oh, and now the kick to the back. Knee as well. There's a bit of trash talk from Mark Coffey as he continues the assault. Listen to those boos from the NXT Universe. They are firmly behind the champions in this one. Another knee there to the spine of Julius Creed and now he's going to be sent into the corner. Tag. And in comes Joe Coffey, the man that earned Gallus this title opportunity here tonight. And look at them go. Taking it to one half of the Creed Brothers. One half of the Tag Team Champions. Dallas absolutely relentless. They want those titles. Here's the cover and a, an interception made there by Brutus. Now Brutus Creed gets taken out. Knocked off of the apron. Now Joe Coffey. Showcasing his power. What a German suplex that was. High impact, but wait a minute. The inside cradle by Julius for a one count. Oh, and there's an elbow. Catching Joe Coffey in the chest. And Julius Creed with a second wind. What a gut wrench suplex. I oh, know we went for the elbow again, but that time it gets reversed. And now Joe Coffey looking for something. Big back elbows though from Julius Creed and a knee. The knee takes him down. And now Joe Coffey gets sent into the corner of the Creed brothers. Tag made. And now the NXT Tag Team Champions with the double team. Northern Lights suplex into the bridge for a counter two. And Joe Coffey back up to his feet. And Brutus went for that double axe handle. Gets counted. And there's some big shots from Joe Coffey. As he drives his shoulders into the midsection. Oh, and now the boots to the chest. Now Gallus closing in here on capturing the tag team titles. Best for the Bells. That vicious discus clothesline. But the distraction here from, from Julius. And this will buy his brother some time. Inside Cradle again. This time by Brutus Creed to retain and a kick out. And the Creed brothers are back in control thanks to that distraction made by Julius. Tag made. Back in comes Julius Creed. And there's some more unique tandem offense by the NXT Tag Team Champions. And Joe Coffey's in a bad way. But as I say that, nice reversal. 
Brutus tried to go for the swing. Missed out. And now there's an elbow by Joe Coffey. Pop-up powerbomb. Could that be enough? No. That pinfall attempt gets broken up. And the matchup continues. NXT Tag Team titles on the line. And Joe Coffey realising this could be the moment. This could be the moment for Gallus. Joe Coffey now measuring his man. Best for the Bells. Gets reversed that time. And oh, what a slam there by Julius Creed. And just like that, this matchup has completely turned around for the champions. Massive Lariat. Here's the cover to retain the gold. Oh, but here comes Mark Coffey. Mark Coffey with the save, and now Julius targeting him. Belly to back, suplex onto the apron. And now back into the ring comes Julius. There's a knee by Joe Coffey. And Joe Coffey on the hunt for Brutus. Belly to belly suplex, bringing Brutus into the ring. And oh, Joe missed out. And now Julius trying to capitalize. Joe Coffey on the top turnbuckle. And there's a belly to belly suplex off the top rope by Julius Creed to retain the gold. And Mark Coffey is there. What a tag team matchup this has been. And Julius went for the drop kick, gets counted. And now Joe Coffey going to make the tag. And that was a much needed tag for Gallus. Boot to the back of the head, into the side slam. And Gallus looking to become NXT Tag Team Champions. Oh, but there's the save. Back and forth between these two tag teams. All for the NXT Tag Team titles. And now Gallus could be closing in here. Mark Coffey setting up Julius. Choke slam. High impact. And now looking to finish this. Oh, but he gets reversed. Julius Creed still has life within him. Ankle lock. Submission maneuver locked in. And Joe Coffey realizing he needs to make the save. Oh, wait a minute though, Mark. Able to escape on his own accord. Double axe hand on the follow. And now Mark Coffey. Oh, spiking Julius. And Brutus intercepts the pinfall. Brutus gets wiped out. And now Mark Coffey shifting his focus back onto Julius. Cobra clutch into the slam. High impact. Cover. And oh, wait a minute. Julius got his hand on the rope. Here are your winners. And new NXT Tag Team Champions. Mark Coffee and Joe Coffey. Controversy has struck. Gallus on the new NXT Tag Team Champions. And there is the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose, the leader of Toxic Attraction, looking to follow in JC and Gigi's footsteps. From earlier tonight, she defends her championship against the prodigy Roxanne Perez, next. Are you enjoying the video? Then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. The following contest is scheduled for one four and is for the NXT Women's Championship. 
We are back here at NXT Battleground with more women's division action. There is the prodigy, Roxanne Perez, set for her NXT Women's Championship match with Mandy Rose. Perez won a fatal four-way match to become number one contender. And tonight, she looks to relive history. She has defeated Mandy Rose before for the NXT Women's Championship. That is how Mandy's first reign as champion ended. It was due to Roxanne Perez, and now she has another chance to make the same thing happen here tonight. Perez versus Rose is about to go down here this evening. Toxic. Earlier tonight, JC Jane and Gigi Dolan were able to retain their NXT Women's Tag Team titles against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Now Mandy Rose looks to do the same. She looks to keep Toxic Attraction at the top of this brand, at the top of NXT. Mandy Rose has been champion for 112 days. She has defended the championship four times. This is her fifth time defense, and it is against Somebody that has defeated her in the past. Somebody that has taken her championship in the past. Will it transpire again here tonight? Yeah. Introducing the challenger from Laredo, Texas, the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. And her opponent from Yorktown Heights, New York, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. Mandy has been adamant that history will not repeat itself here tonight. NXT Women's title on the line, Mandy Rose versus Roxanne Perez. What a matchup this is going to be. NXT Universe on their feet as we get underway. And the collar and elbow tie-up will begin proceedings. Perez looking for something early on, but Mandy able to counter. And Perez took the bait. Mandy trying to play mind games early on in this contest. And it is on like Donkey Kong right now. Perez firing back. And look at her go. Taking it to Rose in the corner. And now, from behind, Rose lands on her feet. Roll up. Trying to end things early. But Perez will kick out. And Rose trying for the forearm. Perez in the block. And now, the Lama Heastral Cradle. Shoulders down on the champion for a one count. And now Perez with some mind games of her own. And Rose took the bait. These two women need to keep their emotions intact. It's very important in this type of atmosphere. That is what the mind games are all about. They know if they can make their opponent... Oh, wait a minute here, cover. Cover, and another kick out at one. As I was saying, though, they know that emotions can determine the results of a matchup. You lose control in anger. That is what mind games are all about. Now Roxanne Perez trying to target the arm here of Mandy Rose. She heads up to the top turn, but oh, and oh my goodness. Nice arm drag. Oh, but Rose back up to her feet right away. And there's a big forearm. 
And this has been quite the back and forth contest thus far between these two superstars. As Mandy Rose catches the back elbow, and Perez now unleashing on the champion. Perez can't get overwhelmed. She needs to stay focused as there's the modified sent on by Perez. Cover now on the champion and a kick out. Near full that time. Perez getting one step closer, one count closer to becoming NXT Women's Champion again. And she may have been thinking pop rocks. Mandy Rose knew it was coming. And what a combination. Now Perez trying to get herself back up to her feet. And Mandy Rose. Oh, just raking the eyes of Roxanne Perez. Oh, and there's a clubbing blow there to the back. And a kick to the midsection. And look at Mandy Rose turning away to the NXT Universe. Mandy losing focus now, perhaps, as there's a fireman's carry takeover by Roxanne. She's able to take advantage. And now Perez. No, Mandy. Oh, wait a minute. Perez, there's an arm drag. This time from the middle rope, and she followed up with that European uppercut. Perez is feeling it. Double knees in the corner. Mandy Rose could be out of it. Here's the cover for the championship. And another near fall. Great matchup thus far, Rizal. Perez went for that double foot stop. Rose went for the drop kick. Both women missing out. And now Perez with a power bomb. Stacking up Rose now to win the championship. And another kick out. And Perez with the NXT Universe behind her. As Rose is picked back up to her feet. Float over into that side rushing leg sweep. And now the cover. One more time, kick out. What a competitive matchup this has been. And you'd expect nothing less from these two women. Shots now from Perez. Went for the Inziguri, unable to connect. Now Mandy Rose, oh, caught the DDT. Rose just got caught in her tracks. Perez to win the title. No, not enough. And El Perez went for another shot. Rose big forearms. And a shot right to the face. Oh, there's the inverted gut wrench suplex. We've seen that from Mandy in the past. Cover here, and she almost retained. But Perez showcasing her resilience. And now, uh-oh, I think I know what Mandy Rose is thinking. I hope Perez does too, because she's about to be kissed by the Rose. Perez saw it coming. Great counter. And now Perez. May have been thinking pop rocks. And again, it gets reversed. Mandy with a belly to back suplex. And Perez wisely rolling to the outside of the ring. Mandy in pursuit. Mandy Rose looking to get Perez back into the ring. But Perez came to the midsection. And here comes the prodigy on the outside of the ring. Rose gets sent back in first. And now Perez from the high rent district. With the moonsault and connects. Is that enough to become champion? No. Rose raises her shoulder in time. Oh, and there's a right hand. And a drop kick. She got all of that one. Did Mandy Rose. Mandy again sizing up Perez. Kiss the Rose. That knee to the skull. To retain. Perez stays in it. 
A man he can't believe it. NXT Universe getting hyped as Mandy from the top. No water in the pool. Crucial moment now with this match. Perez cross face. Submission maneuver so the ring for the NXT Women's Championship. Are we about to witness a new champion? Is this the end of toxic attraction being at the top? No. Mandy able to survive. And now she's setting up Roxanne for a suplex. But Perez from behind. Right to the back of the leg. And now, kick to the gut. And there's Pop Rocks. Perez has done it. New champion. Oh! How did Mandy kick out of that? First, Perez kicks out a kiss to Rose. And now, Rose kicking out of Pop Rocks. Snap that takedown by Perez. And all over the top. Basement drop kick. Right on the money. And Mandy now on the apron of the ring. Oh, and there's a shot right to the face. Perez unable to connect with the shot, but there's a knee. And now Roxanne firing back, getting something going. Kick to the skull. And that'll daze the champion. Perez now looking to follow up. Mandy on the top turnbuckle, as is Perez. And there's the Hurricane Rana. And now Roxanne with the modified sent on. Roxanne Perez could be closing in. NXT Universe all behind her. Mandy picked back up to her feet. And Roxanne Perez, Pop Rocks. This has to do it. We have a new NXT Women's Champion. History has repeated itself. Here is your winner, and the new NXT Women's Champion, The Prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Those who don't learn from history, are doomed to repeat it. And Roxanne Perez has once again ended a title reign of Mandy Rose. Congratulations to the prodigy. Mandy, could I get a word? I don't want to talk right now. Mandy Rose not in a talking mood after losing the NXT Women's Championship before the break. Now we move on to more women's division action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! High stakes in this one for Alba Fire. Because if she loses this matchup to Isla Dawn, she will become Dawn's underling. If Alba Fire wins, however, she will receive another opportunity at the NXT Women's Title. High stakes between Fire and Dawn here tonight. Isla Dawn cost Alba Fire a rematch for the NXT Women's Championship, and that's where this rivalry began. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn has already got a victory over Alba Fire. Can she do it again tonight to 
make Alba Foyer become her underling? We are about to find out. As these two superstars look to settle their differences once and for all. Either Foyer moves on to another championship match or she becomes Isla Dawn's underling. Here we go. NXT Universe on their feet as we are underway. And now the fire right out of the gate going off to Dawn. And this is all about payback. This is all about revenge for Alba Foyer. She wants to put Isla Dawn behind her and move on to getting back that championship. Oh, kick there to the spine. And Alba Foyer gaining control in the early stages. And Dawn is forced to roll to the outside. But Alba Foyer throwing caution to the wind. Holding nothing back here tonight at Battleground. And now with the barricade goes the modern day witch, the Enchantress. Oh, and now Dawn trying to fight back and Fire gets sent into the barricade. And already this is a physical affair. The barricade getting put to use by both of these women. And now Dawn has turned things around. Round and pound here from the modern day witch. Big slap to the face. Nyla Dawn is just a possessed individual. And now utilizing the top rope to her advantage is Isla Dawn. Dawn is gonna do whatever she can here tonight to make Alba Foyer become her underling. First goes foil. And now Fire trying to get back up to her feet. Dawn missed out with the kick. So did Alba Fire. And now Isla Dawn striking combination drives Alba into the corner. And there's a couple of kicks to the midsection. From behind now. Nice suplex. And Isla Dawn, what does she have in store here? Dawn setting up for that half and half suplex. Foyer lands on her feet. And there's the super kick. Right to the face of Isla Dawn. And look at Foyer go. Oh, but Isla Dawn now firing back. And now the hammer lock here from Isla. Alba Foyer continuing to fight. High stakes here in this matchup. And off the headbutt, Alba Foyer looking to set up the modern day witch. Oh, but Dawn lands on her feet. And now from behind, here's the roll up. Shoulders are down. And oh, Foyer able to kick out. And now Isla Dawn. Nice striking combination. And again, Isla Dawn perhaps setting up for that half and half suplex. Can she deliver it this time? No. Alba Foyer was one step ahead. And now from behind, no. Dawn reversing. Big forearms from Isla Dawn. Snap their takedown and a knee driven right into the spine. And now Dawn is feeling it. Is she setting up for that half and half suplex? Alba Foyer countering, whatever it was. And off the clothesline now, Alba Foyer could be looking to put this away. Alba Foyer looking for that glory bomb, no doubt, but Isla Dawn knew it was coming. And Isla with the roundhouse kick. Alba Foyer may not have a clue where she's at right now, 
Isla Dawn looking to strike. Boy, alone with a clothesline. And Dawn wisely getting out of the ring. Keep your eyes to one out of the foil. Tope Super Cedar again. Fire just putting her body on the line. Doing whatever she can to receive another championship match in the future. And oh well, the fire rolls through into the Hurricane Runner. And now trying to get Dool back up to her feet, but there's a fireman's carry takeover. And Dawn into the guillotine. Submission maneuver looked in. Now the fire may have no choice but to tap out right here. And if she does, she will become Dawn's underling. Alba though trying to fight it. And she manages to escape. Super kick. And Alba fire not quite done there. Oh, the jumping flatliner. And could that be enough for the victory? Kick out at two. Isla Dawn remaining in the matchup. And there's a counter by Dawn. Big forearms, kick to the gut. Went to follow up, but there's a slam from out of the fire. And uh-oh, Dawn is in the drop zone. She's trying to get back up to a vertical base. Out of the fire, oh, missed out with the cannonball. And that could cost her. Belly to back suplex from Isla Dawn. And now, looking to add the exclamation point. Dawn with the half and half. To make Alba Foyer her underling. Dawn almost got it, but not quite enough to put away Alba Foyer. And now Dawn. No. Reversal by Foyer. And again to the outside goes the modern day witch. And now these two battling on the outside of the ring once again. Isla Dawn sends Alba Foyer back into the squared circle. And from the top, missed out with the elbow. Pivotal point now in this matchup. Alba Foyer strikes. Cover. Oh, another near fall. Alba Foyer on the hunt for that championship match in the future. Super kick, no, gets blocked. No, oh, straight jacket, German. And now Dawn went for the knee. Nobody home. And now fire from behind, taking down Isla Dawn. And again, she's set up in the drop zone. Alba Foyer thinking Swanton. Oh, Dawn got out of the way. And Dawn with the combination offense right into the Black Magic Ritual. And is it enough? It is. Isla Dawn picks up the win. Here is your winner. And that means Alba Foyer is now forced to become Isla Dawn's underling. What a victory for the modern day witch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. It is main event time here at NXT Battleground. And here comes the mega star entering tonight as the challenger. LA Knight is getting his rematch for the NXT Championship after losing to the champion Braun Breaker last month 
a Halloween Havoc. LA Knight looking to once again become NXT Champion. He wants that title back around his waist. He has his only opportunity here tonight at Battleground. LA Knight's obligatory rematch here tonight in front of a sold out NXT Universe. Will the Mega Star be able to recapture the gold? And here comes the champion. There is Braun Breaker. And it's important to mention that LA Knight has already defeated Braun Breaker in the past. And that was in the NXT Championship Tournament earlier this year. Can Knight do it again here tonight? These two men are neck and neck. They are one victory apiece against one another this year. This is the culmination. This is their third encounter. Who will come out on top? Introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight! And his opponent, from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Braun Breaker! It also needs to be mentioned that their last encounter at Halloween Havoc was a trick or street fight. Braun Breaker obviously walking out with the championship in that match. But this is a regular match. And the last time these two men went one on one in a regular matchup, LA Knight got the victory. Breaker has been champion for 21 days. This is his first championship defense and there's the bell we are underway and breaker inverted atomic drop to begin proceedings and now the double leg takedown breakers already fired up here this evening la knight catches him there with a kick to the gut no oh, and breaker right to the midsection champion unloading on la knight Big belly to belly suplex, first cover now and a kick out at one. So this is a regular matchup. Championship can only be won by pinfall or submission. The champion's advantage is in effect. And LA Knight now trying to battle back against Braun Breaker. Nice striking combination. That just decked Breaker. And now the double foot stomp to the face. Breaker will roll to the outside. LA Knight now firing up. And Knight off the apron gets caught. Right in the gut. And Breaker gonna showcase his power. No, LA Knight for the big haymaker instead. And now the champion sent back into the ring. LA Knight in pursuit. And oh, he missed out with the clothesline breaker. Hoists him up again. And look at the power. Military press slam. And Braun Breaker deadlifting up the challenger for the gut wrench suplex. And Breaker now preparing to break. The former champion, Massive Lariat. And another one. And this is not good news for the Mega Store. There's a trifecta of Lariats in the cover to retain the championship on only a one count. 
Still early days. LA Knight though is in a bad way after those series of lariats. And now Breaker on the move over the top right. Tope Con Hero by the champion. And LA Knight gets driven into the barricade. Oh, head force that time. Ron Breaker doing some serious damage here to LA Knight. And Knight gets sent back into the ring. Ron Breaker following. There's a boot to the midsection. Punch to the skull. And now the cover to retain. And a two count. Breaker getting one count closer to a title retention. And now Breaker trying to set up Knight. Knight though countering. Here comes some more strikes from the Mega Star. Went for that European uppercut in the corner. Breaker saw it coming. And now Bron Breaker hoisting up LA Knight. Again displaying his power. Knight though goes to the back of the leg with that shot block. And now Breaker hoisted up. And there's a burning hammer. Could that be enough to put down Breaker? to win back the NXT Championship, no. Only a two count. And now Knight perhaps setting up for the BFT. Breaker saw it coming. Back and forth between these two superstars. Oh, Breaker missed out with the splash. And now LA Knight with him on his shoulders. Torture rack into the neck breaker. And now LA Knight hooking the outside leg. NXT title on the line, kick out. Another near fall. And Knight missed out with that big boot. Here's Braun Breaker driving him into the corner. And now Knight gets boarded. Running power slam from Breaker. Here's the cover to retain and a kick out. Shoulder up at two by LA Knight. Now back to the outside go both of these men. And Broad Breaker getting Knight back into the squared circle. And all went for the shoulder tackle. LA Knight able to reverse. In the side rushing leg sweep. Cover for the championship. And again, a near fall. And now the mega star has something on his mind. Oh, but there's a knee that got. And now Breaker. Uh oh. Bad news for the mega star. There's the military press into the power slam. A move that has put countless superstars away. LA Knight raises his shoulder. You've got to credit the resilience of LA Knight. And now there's a reversal. Breaker though, catching Knight out of the air. And now Braun Breaker is calling for it. Breaker in position. Here comes the spear. Knight caught him with the knee. LA Knight staying ahead of what Breaker was thinking. And now Breaker gets dropped. Mega Star Elbow. Is LA Knight closing in or regaining? The NXT Championship. He's poised for a little blunt force trauma. Breaker though counters. Oh, with the spear toward a DDT instead. And there's some blunt force trauma to regain the NXT Championship. Breaker stays in it. That was close. 
Now what is Knight thinking here? LA Knight from the apron. Oh, with that slingshot shoulder tackle. Grand Breaker. Newt was coming. Oh, what a combination. And now Breaker's fired up. Grand Breaker is fired up. And now LA Knight gets sent off the ropes into the power slam. And is Breaker calling for it here? Is he gonna try this again? Breaker may be thinking Spear. He hasn't been able to connect thus far. But there it is. Right to the gut, right to the sternum of LA Knight. Grand Breaker, no! LA Knight kicks out again. I have no idea how LA Knight sustained the spear and kicked out of it. But he did. This matchup continues. And Breaker again looking to break the former champion. There's the Stinger splash in the corner. And LA Knight now set up for the Steiner recliner. Submission maneuver locked in on LA Knight. And what is LA Knight going to do here? Will he have to submit to the Steiner recliner? Oh, wait just a minute. Knight able to fight out. And now the megastar in position. Double axe sandal. Follow it up now with a shoulder block. And a jumping clothesline. LA Knight is rolling. And Breaker has been set up on the top turnbuckle. And now the Mega Star going to get himself a one up. And my word, the agility. Superplex. NXT Championship on the line. Cover. And a near fall. No wasted motion by LA Knight. Breakers up. Burning hammer. And now Knight could be one move away. LA Knight looking for blood force trauma to put this away. Breaker reverses. Spear. And that's how he became NXT Champion last month. Cover on Knight. Breaker retains. Here is your winner, and still, the NXT Champion, Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker remains NXT Champion.